The Ottawa Red Blacks will visit the Toronto Argonauts on Sunday to finish out Week 10. The Argos were originally 10.5-point favorites for this game, though they have fallen to 3.5-point favorites due to the uncertainty surrounding the health of starting quarterback Chad Kelly. Can the Red Blacks shake a two-game losing streak to hand Toronto their second straight loss? The Argonauts, we're recording this on Wednesday morning, by the way. The Argonauts do not practice for the first time this week until Wednesday afternoon. And so we don't have any official updates on Chad Kelly at this point of the recording. However, if he plays, I am smashing the Toronto Argonauts at minus three and a half. I'm happy to take them up to probably minus 10. I mean, the Toronto Argonauts are going to be, I think, a very motivated team. After losing a surprise game last week following Chad Kelly's injury, I, I I know the injury was obviously not serious. Had that been a playoff game, I think Chad Kelly finishes no matter what. For reasons we talked about early in the show, the Argos were smart for holding him out. But to me, this is a team that has to continue its winning ways to keep putting room or at least maintain their lead over the Montreal Alouettes in the East Division. They are better than Ottawa. Ottawa, I think, has really taken a step back. Since, again, Crumb Sanity set in with back-to-back wins over Winnipeg and Calgary, they've scored only 36 points over their last two games, losing to two middling teams in Hamilton and Saskatchewan. Heck, they lost to the Ticats, even though the defense got five picks. Like, I, I am not liking at all what I'm seeing from the Ottawa Red Blacks right now. I'm taking the Argos easily by three and a half. And again, up to 10, depending on how this line moves depending on Chad Kelly's health. Uh, Chad Kelly makes this a much more comfortable bet, but I really don't care if he plays or not, because I think the Argos win and cover this three and a half point spread, regardless of whether he's on the field or not. Now I have no faith in Cameron Dukes at the helm of the Argos offense, but this is what I know. Defenses have figured out Dustin Crum right now and over the last two weeks he has not taken a step forward as a passer in fact I think he has taken a step back now he's going to go up against what is one of the best defenses in the league against one of the best defensive minds in Corey Mace and a team that not only generates turnovers at a crazy rate but also scores on defense as well. I think the Argos defense can carry the load against this Red Blacks team. I'm taking them no matter who's under center. 